May 26th, the day has finally arrived, the sinking of the Vandenberg. Uh, they're pulling the ropes off right now, going to be ready to take her out here in about uh, probably half an hour or so. We're going to follow the uh, whole journey on the way out there and then the sinking and then we'll be underwater hopefully tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you soon. Met someone, we were doing a photo shoot down in the Florida Keys uh, last year, a guy named Joe Weatherby and Joe happens to have a company called Artificial Reefs International and that's what they do, they go make artificial reefs. In 2009, my organization sank the General Hoyt S. Vandenberg, second largest artificial reef in the world, off of Key West, Florida, in the heart of the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. One minute, 45 seconds, a new world record. <laughs> they take a ship that is really almost about to be turned into razor blades, and they will take it, strip it of anything bad for the environment. They get rid of the lead paint, any asbestos, any fluids, any rubber, pull all that out and make it sterile. And they'll go out and sink it, turning it to an artificial reef. So you get all kind of plant life, fish life. I feel very strongly that uh, the United States should preserve its maritime history through museum ships. The shipwreck has been an amazing tool in promoting our diving business down here. It draws a lot of money into the economy. People coming and visiting from different areas, staying at our hotels, eating in our restaurants. Being here in Key West, it helps all the businesses throughout the Keys. Uh, people that are driving down will dive both the Key Largo, the Marathon area, and uh, they actually get two shots at them. They get them to come down and they catch them going back. It's exciting, it brings more people in, it generates more customers that want to go out. It's been a very popular fishing and diving site since it was sunk. As a diver, I'm very environmentally conscious, especially with artificial reefs like this. You know, I think one of the key elements of the oceans and artwork being shared on shipwrecks is that it creates a special awareness of the sensitivity of the environment and the significance as well as the importance of maintaining and preserving the environment through the creation of enhancements like shipwrecks and artworks on the ships. We need to make sure we teach everybody not to throw things in the water, not to you know, take things from the water leave only bubbles. It does two main things. It, it gets the majority of divers off of the actual reef, giving that reef time to actually rejuvenate. Then it also gives us an opportunity to have a playground in the form of a uh, shipwreck. We do want to give people an alternative place to dive, not just always on the coral reefs. We want it to give them a significant uh, wreck to dive on. We are all stewards of the environment, but we do love our shipwrecks. It's, it's good for business and good for the environment, and that's something you don't see every day.